The theme of the 12th Peace Lecture was a vision for hope and healing. Muhammad says that Archbishop Tutu understood that education is the most powerful tool to ensure dignity and equality. She says it must be at the core of all actions to transform the world, but it's not receiving the critical attention it needs. As the world goes through a fourth industrial revolution, with enormous implications for jobs and training, nearly half of all students do not complete secondary school. 700 million adults are illiterate, the majority of whom are women. People with disabilities, living with HIV and AIDS, and children from marginalized groups face the toughest challenges of all. Muhammad says Africa has all the resources, institutions, and instruments it needs, including 54 sovereign states, 1.4 billion people, the African Union, and the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. All of this, she says, represents hope. Translating that hope into action will require, among others, the inclusion of youth and women and investments in systems to deliver on basic human rights and services. First, political leadership, with the will and the courage to act for the people they represent, bearing in mind that our home, the planet, is one of the first responsibilities they will have not to the exclusion of the leadership beginning from the home through all the strata of our societies, of our communities. In delivering the second half of the lecture, author Doug Abrams says that through the two decades he spent with the Arch, he learned that personal transformation is fundamental to global transformation. Abrams co-wrote with Tutu and the Dalai Lama, The Book of Joy. Without changing our own consciousness, he says, there cannot be hope to change the world. But we must remember what Arch is whispering into our hearts about the two truths of hope. That hope is an act of resistance. That hope is as contagious as any virus. The lecture is the first to be delivered since the Arch's passing in December last year at the age of 90. His family says it was a bittersweet experience, but say now more than ever, his example must be followed. Both of the, the speakers were incredible. They came at hope from different directions and landed us exactly where hope needs to land us, which is um, committed to acting for the change that we want to see in the world. The Peace Lecture is rooted in the Desmond and Leia Tutu Foundation's work to transform society through the pursuit of healing inspired by the Archer's legacy. Mariska Buerta, SABC News, Cape Town.